everybody. It's me. It's Ann. I'm back. But back, but back with another series. This is a new group. It's Angie from 4F Beauty and me and Kaylee Wesley, the AAK girls. Now, we decided that we wanted to do stuff together. And we thought it would be really cool. So, we are. And we've come up with several different topics for things. But this is our very first one. And we called it Pretty in Pink. Now, pink, pink is an interesting color. Pink can be subtle. Pink can be completely outrageous. Pink, on some people, is just barely there. You can, pink is one of the first colors that young girls usually get introduced to because pale pinks most young girls can get away with. And then there's some of us who put a little time in and come up with pinks that would shock a queen. I have no idea right this minute exactly what you're going to see with the other two. This one's mine. See you in a minute. Hello, yes, we're back from the in intro. Can you tell? Look, no face. Anyway, this is, again, the Pretty in Pinks. Yes, I'm reminding myself, too. And I'm going to start with my favorite white base. Now, some of you get curious about my white base. It's a technically a concealer from a company called Shop Miss A. It's from their AOA Studio line. And since it's me, and we know how me is about spending tons on things that don't need to have tons spent on. This is a dollar. And I trade off between using a sponge or using a brush to blend this out on the skin just because it's what I happen to land my eyes on when it's time to do this bit. I believe the brush is currently in the wash bucket, which it needed to be. Because I also use a beige concealer from the same company, from their same line, as a slightly darker base if I'm working with dark colors. I mean, you know, if you're going for a smoky eye, why would you want to put white? I don't know. That's just me. Yes, I'm still working with my new space, my new setup. I still haven't gotten the signs precisely where I want them, but I'm also getting ready to put some shelves up, so... There's no telling where things are going to go.
Now, let me get this palette up in my hand where I can keep track of it. And I'm going to use a couple of different colors of pink. Now, some of them, people might not agree that they're pink because they do tend towards the more purple-ish side but it's still pink when there's more red than blue it's still pink but what I'm going to start with is a very pale pink just because people will look at this one and go oh yeah that's pink well at least if the video picks it up right You never can tell what the video is doing until you get it in the edit. And then, if you're lucky enough to have learned a bit about your editing program, you can adjust the colors a bit so that you are seeing on that monitor what you thought you were seeing in real life while you were doing it and with any luck it translates into the end film and people watching it on their monitors We'll see something close. Pinks can be very subtle. Pinks can also be outrageous. Ask anyone that does stage work that they've got anything they've got to do in pink. Now, next shade of pink. Yes, even an outrageously bright shade can be done subtly for like in the corner. You don't have to pull, put the full weight of that brighter shade into the corner. going to be fiddling with the corner a little bit more later too so and I'm only carrying this part way up because I don't want to lose that pale pink and this would take over
Now, one of the things I try to be a little bit careful of when I'm doing pinks is I try to be careful of how much pink I put under the eye. Because let's be real, if you overdo it, people are going to think you've got pink eye. Okay, I'm going to reintroduce that paler pink again because starting to lose it right there. This issue is the bane of the hooded and deep set eye because you have to put your crease color much higher than typical so it will be seen those of us with hooded and deep set eyes know the horror yes indeed we know the horror Now, so far, everything I have used is matte. That's the so far. We're going to get a little shinier. Since it's going over here, partially to darken things up, I'm not spritzing it yet. Let's see. Now, I'm going to put... It's kind of a white, but it's very sparkly. 
and I'm going to put it in the inner corner. Once it gets on that inner corner, since there's already paint there, it's going to go pink. There is no way it won't go pink. It's just a poor little white with some glitter in it. homemade spray with a little glycerin It just works right in. To the paint. And gets itself painted. The bristles on this brush have a purple dyed tip that it came with and still with the pink the strong pink it, the tips have gone pink Let me tell you, if you use a fully white brush with some of the stronger colors, pinks and reds and the deep blues, you will never get them out. You will never get those colors out. They just stay. Little glitter in the center, in the corner. off there. This is a slightly different pink from the same little grouping. This one's headed towards that purpley shade that I was talking about. But because it's still more red than blue, I still keep it in the pinks. But it's just a little bit different than the other ones that I've used so far. Now, I do have a pink eye pencil that I can use on the waterline but it's such a pale pink you wouldn't be able to really tell it any different from if I used a nude pencil or no pencil at all there so I think I will probably do my liner all of my liners in something other than pink and I don't have any pink mascara so pink mascara is not a happening kind of thing Alrighty. 
there's our base. Let's see what it looks like. Once I put the rest of the face on. Because at this point, no, I don't know what it's going to look like either. The intros and outros are all done after I'm completely finished. So, yeah. Yes, I'm still tinkering while we're talking. want them to look as close as possible to each other. That kind of thing. see things. I'll be right back. And we're back. What do you think? Are we pink? Now, make sure you go watch Angie and Kaylee. I'm going to be unhappy if you don't go watch Angie and Kaylee. Yes, they are linked in the description. Let's go do something. Let's go do something with pink drinks. Be good. <laughs>